Praise the Lord. Welcome to our brief Bible reflections. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Reading from the book of Psalm 95. Today we are looking at verse number 5 and 6. The Bible says, The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands formed the dry land. O oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. A reminder that God is in charge. Yesterday we said that he is in charge of the deep places of the earth. Again, the heights of the hill are his also. He is in charge. In verse number five, we see that the sea, hard as it is to comprehend the depth of the sea, the vastness of the sea, and the many things that we can relate the sea with, God is in charge. The psalmist says that the sea is his. He is the one who made it. Again, his hand formed the dry land. So he's in charge of the sea and the dry land. There are things in our lives we feel as though, this I cannot comprehend. I don't know how to go about this. It is a, uh, an encouragement today that God is in charge of all situations in our lives just as the sea is his the dry land is in his hand and he's the one who made it we belong to god we need not to fear he is in charge of our lives a reminder that when we read when we see how great our god is just as we said yesterday that for the lord is the great god the great king above all gods when we realize how great our God is, we cannot dare behave as though we are not understanding who we are worshipping, who we are obeying. Because we said it is a call to worship and obedience to our God. As we worship him, he is the God, the creator of both the sea and the dry land. He is in charge of the depth of the earth. He's in charge of the heights of the hills. He's now in charge, as we are reading, of both the, the sea and the dry land. And so even when we look at our lives, we go through different situations. And there are times when we feel as though nobody can understand what we want. Nobody can understand what we are going through. Nobody can understand our heart desires. It may be a mystery to your friends. It may be a mystery to you as a person, but to God, he's in charge. He's the creator. When we realize all this, we can only say, oh, come, let us worship and bow down. And as we do so, we also kneel before the Lord, our maker. He is the creator of the universe. He's the creator of the humanity. And so we can only worship and bow down before him, acknowledging who he is, acknowledging his supremacy, and we experience his goodness in all this, just as he's in charge of the sea. And we know that there are times when in the sea, there could be some storms around in our lives as well. There are times when we feel as though there are turbulences that are pushing us from all corners, God is aware, God is in charge, God is in control, and he, and he alone, is the creator of both the dry land, the sea, and so we need not to fear. And on top of that, he is our creator, our creator who wants us to enjoy our walk with him. How do we respond to this? We can only say, oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. It's a call to humility, a call to surrender, a call to acknowledge who God is. He's such a mighty God, creator of the sea, creator of the dry land, and also our creator who created us in his own image and likeness. Let us worship him. Let us bow before him. Let us kneel 
before the Lord our maker. God bless you. God keep you. Know that he is in charge. Amen.